Moore. I teach 8th grade social studies and I've been in the building 10 years. My name is Siobhan Helms and I teach biology and I've been teaching at Pensbury for 15 years. I'm Ryan Kennedy. I teach 7th and 8th grade language arts and I've been in Pensbury for 3 years. With Colleen Beats, I'm a 7th grade social studies teacher here at Charles Beam and I started my Pensbury journey 14 years ago. My name is Bob Distel. I've been at Pensbury for 11 years and I am a high school English teacher. Hi, I'm Jean Marie McGinley. Welcome to Quarry Hill 5th grade classroom. Uh, my name is Michael Herman. I'm a chemistry physical science teacher at Pensbury West. I've been teaching here since 2000. I'm Megan Swope. I teach high school social studies at Pensbury High School West. I've been at Pensbury for 19 years, um, although I'm also a Pensbury student. Hi, I'm Mark Costanzo. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Walt Disney Elementary, and I've been teaching for 18 years. to students and using the textbook. Copies, packets, collecting papers. Old school pencil and paper. <laughs> a lot of paperwork with the students, handouts, binders, and orientation like that. Um, basically pen and paper, it was the chalkboard, um, the good old overheads with the clear uh, transparent sheets, um, and that was really the way that we taught everything. Kids researched and collaborated together um, and created a, the Great American Road Trip in which they, they mapped it out. They used Google My Maps, Google Tour, and they were able to present in Google Slides. So it incorporated a little bit of everything um, in a project that would have otherwise been just some coloring or just something very basic. Make resources so much more available to both students and parents. I have all of my lesson materials ranging from handouts to PowerPoint presentations to video clips available on Google Drive. Google Classroom has allowed me to streamline the use of assignments and collection of assignments. And it's, the technology has allowed me to do activities I never would have been able to do before, such as allowing students to collaborate and peer edit in more authentic ways. My teaching style has changed quite dramatically. And now a greater deal of guide on the side of true facilitator uh, as opposed to just transfer of knowledge. So these kids want to learn on their own, they want to seek and find, they want to they want to discover and this tool lets them do that. It became a life-changing experience for the students in my class. I post an article about uh, Jake Elliott's against the Giants, that 61-yard field goal. This article became it was so heavy in statistics and math vocabulary. The assignment was for them to read the article and post some math statistics on Google Classroom and also discuss some of the vocabulary. There were, on this first assignment in Google Classroom, over 100 comments. I never knew how physics and biomechanics had to do with football, how it, the ball was in contact with his foot for only eight milliseconds, trajectory. The conclusion that my, my students came to was that Elliot must have good math skills to kick that field goal. So, so what I decided to do was take their great thoughts and I thought, uh, why not? I'll tweet it to Jake Elliott. So I ended up tweeting it to Jake Elliott and he responded. Writing is much easier now. Students can collaborate on documents by sharing them with one another. And by sharing the document with me in real time, I can see what the students are doing and help them. I can also provide more focused feedback and detailed information as I am grading their papers. This year, we're doing a digital portfolio which compiles artifacts to show evidence of learning biological concepts. I use Google Drawings to help facilitate info. Um, I also use Google Forms as a pre and post test formative assessment. Constructive responses and reflections, which will hopefully lead to success on the Keystone. Everything is accessible 24-7. Um, I have students working on simulations, um, which is really good in science. Um, I have students collaborating on labs and spreadsheets. Google Docs has opened up a lot for me. Um, and especially now with the district implementation of Canvas, uh, now I really have the students hooked in on everything that they need and want and desire. I've recently started using Edpuzzle to flip my classroom so that students are assigned 
um, an Ed Puzzle video with questions. My one of my favorite tech tools that I love using is Pear Deck for instruction, so that I can use for the formative assessment tools within Pear Deck to gauge what the students know, if they're grasping the concepts, and to interact with them to make it um, engaging. Using Google Slides, I'm able to build units for the students. I can show them something that is information oriented at the beginning with an activity built in at the end and then questions to follow, keeping them all organized in one slideshow so the students are organized and the material submitted is also organized as well. My favorite tech tool, I, I have to pick just one. I, Pear Deck, Flipgrid. Uh, the Google Apps button, everything Google is just amazing. I have Google fever. Uh, I love Twitter as my professional learning community so that I can stay on top of the uh, newest trends that are out there and to just keep myself fresh. I love Google Forms. I can now give a reading check quiz and have the kids get instant feedback without having to wait for me to score the test. We use StoryWorks. The Chromebooks allow us to log into StoryWorks and have the story read to us so that the students can follow along and their eyes can go across the words, see words that they might not recognize, but hear read to them. That helps tracking, that helps vocabulary recognition, sight word, it's all kind of benefits. I really like Google Drawings. Biology is a very visual concept, so it allows the kids to draw and explain concepts and present them in a graphic frame. Every tech tool is probably just gonna be Google Slides. With the, the Q&A feature that we, we've learned about, it allows kids access to uh, write questions where they, where they may be confused. I've also started using it as creating interactive notebooks and as well as uh, hyperlinked ebooks. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Google Classroom only because it's truly the hub of my use of the entire Google suite. Currently, what I like to use is Google to its fullest potential. There are so many tech tools out there, but keeping the students in Google and becoming familiar with Google and what it offers, and then strengthening them inside Google, that seems to be my key right now, is to keep them in one place. I cannot, I, I don't think I can narrow it down. I've only been doing this a month, and there's instant feedback for the kids if they want to know what trajectory is, any of the vocabulary pieces. This has become almost an essential part for us to move forward in math this year. Absolutely engagement. Students are excited, they're engaged, and I'm constantly uh, keeping them on their toes. When students are um, coming in on a level playing field. They are, for the most part, um, extremely excited about the technology that they have at their fingertips, and it really allows for the teachers to um, plan dynamic lessons. Uh, when students are absent, they can go on my Google Classroom page or onto my website. They can see what they've missed using the agenda, and it's a little less overwhelming. Additionally, kids that would sometimes be left behind because of uh, pace now have access to everything uh, right here. Definitely noticed a change in student engagement. They love having the Chromebooks out generally. They, again, can get more instantaneous feedback, both from me and from their peers. And it allows the students to really be able to collaborate with one another in more workplace-like settings. It has brought engagement way, way up uh, in my classroom since the advancement of Chromebooks. A large difference in student engagement. The students are so used to using computers at home, they're locked in the classroom when they come in. Um, keeping them on task seems easier now that they have the resources at their fingertips, so there's a drastic difference now with one-on-one -on -one mission. 